first of all, uh, I, I want you to, to practice self-study, that Svati Siyaya. Get into the habit of practicing that yourself on social media. Notice which social media you're called to, where do you spend the most time? Notice which social media you spend the most money on and how you spend that money. What are the posts that convince you to buy something or to hire someone? Start to notice what's working on you because what's working on you is going to work on your clients. Yeah? Can we agree upon, upon that? Yes. Okay. So, uh, so you're going to practice Fadi Siaya, that, that yoga self-study of just noticing what works on you and then starting to incorporate that into a content plan. And then I want you to just pick one social media channel to focus on. The one that you probably spend the most time on is going to be probably your favorite. And I want you to think about what it would look like if you posted every day for 30 days, if you made that commitment to yourself and how you could spread that 30 days of content out over like just, you know, thousands of, <laughs> of posts over the years, <laughs> right? Of, of just repeating your message and growing your audience and continuing to share what it is that you love doing with the world. And, um, and, and that's it. I'm going to have more resources for you, right? I'm going to have something for you soon called the 30 day content calendar. It's something I created. It's 30 days of content. And if you don't post every day, that's okay. That's all right. But then it shows you exactly how to repurpose it for different social media channels. So you can repurpose it each day, or you could post 30 days in one social media channel and then start experimenting with another one, start reposting to another one and just seeing where you have the most fun. In terms of growth, Facebook and TikTok are probably going to be your quickest growth. Instagram is the slowest growth. I think of Instagram more like a business card at, or more like even um, like a, a blog, a place I keep in touch with my biggest fans, but it's pretty slow growth on Instagram compared to TikTok, compared to Facebook. Um, and then YouTube, again, is going to be like medium to, to long-term growth in terms of building an audience on there. But the more that you put out into the world and the more that you engage with your community and your community engages with you, the easier it will be to uh, identify your ideal clients, figure out the best way to get them to hire you through various data tests, working with a business coach such as myself to analyze that stuff um, and, and to grow your business and make money and do the work that you love to do, right? It's worth a little bit of time and effort. It just does as your next step, one social media channel to focus on and you're just studying yourself on that social media channel. What are the posts that you engage with? Take a screenshot or save that post, right? Just noticing what works on you. The last people you hired or the last thing you bought from social media, what was the post? What type of post was it that got you to do it? Maybe you make a spreadsheet and you link to each post so that you have a reference for when you have to create content yourself. Or maybe you sign up for my 30-day content calendar and I just tell you what to post. And it's great. It's so much easier that way. Um, thank you for joining me. Once again, my name is Morgan Balavage. My brand is Splendid Yoga. Thanks for hanging out here in my Facebook group, Personal Finance for Healers. Do go check me out on all my social media channels. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram at splendid.yoga, TikTok at splendid.yoga, LinkedIn, I guess, Morgan Balavage. Um, <laughs> I don't do much for LinkedIn. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's almost November. I got to get on it. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. And uh, and take care of yourselves. Bye.